Hi everybody, it's Jazz. Welcome back to Savvy Social Events. In this video, we're gonna talk about how to know your event's purpose and therefore, why would people want to come to your event? So the first thing you wanna do is think about what do you bring to the table as an event planner? Do you have event planning skills? Are you knowledgeable about the subject? Are you organized? Or do you work well with other people? Are you creative and resourceful? Is there something about this topic that you're passionate about um, or that you believe in personally or professionally? Is your community asking for this type of event? Have people asked you to plan this type of event before? Just get very, very clear on your why for why you wanna plan this event. So it's really important for you to understand why you want to host a live event because there are other things that you could do, right? You could write a book about the topic that you wanna do an event for. You could join a Facebook group about this topic. You could even go to another event that's also about the topic that you want to plan. So why is it that you want to plan a live event for the topic or the subject that you are planning for? Get very, very clear on your why for why you want to plan this event and the purpose behind it. So the second thing you want to do is figure out the why for your participants, for the people that you plan to come to your event. So think about the event topic. What will the event be about? What will be the focus for the event and what will be the overall theme? So for the purposes of this video, let's use our own example. Let's say you want to plan an event that is a women's health and wellness event focused on weight loss. The next thing you want to do is think about the goal for your event. What information, resources, or skills will be shared at your event? What do you hope to accomplish from your event? What community needs are being met and what can people get from your event that they can't get anywhere else? So let's say for our event, our attendees will get specific weight loss information, workouts that they can do at home, meal plan ideas, all tailored to their specific needs. Now you wanna think about your attendees. You can say, who is your ideal client? Who would be most likely to be interested in your event, buy a ticket to your event, or just support it if it's a general event that's free to the public. So using our example, it could be women who want to lose weight. You could get even more specific and say it's women between the ages of 16 and 60. Maybe women who have gone to other wellness events. Maybe women who are vegan or vegetarian, women who have gym memberships. It could also be women who have also taken other steps towards healthier lifestyles. Maybe they are meditators. Maybe they do yoga, and maybe they've even taken the journey towards natural hair. The point is, you wanna get very, very specific on who your audience is so that you know who you want to reach out to when you do start promoting your event. And so the final thing you wanna do is determine your event outcome. What will your guests know? What will they believe? What will they feel? How will their lives be improved after attending your event? What will people do at your event? Will they network? Will they learn? Will they laugh? Will they be entertained? Will they be inspired? What is the impact that your event is going to have on your community and for those that have attended your event? So using our example, we could say that the women at our health and wellness event focused on weight loss will gain skills to have a healthier lifestyle They'll gain specific tailored information on how they can lose weight. They'll meet other women who are also on this journey. And they'll have an overall sense of wellness, both mentally, physically, spiritually, and emotionally. You could get even more specific and say that you hope each attendee will at least utilize one healthy lifestyle method within one week of attending your event and each of your attendees will reach their goal weight within a year of attending your event. So now that you're clear on your why and the why for your attendees, one thing you can do is to create a vision statement for your event. Your vision statement is something that you can come back to time and time again while you're planning your event to remind yourself of the purpose and the overall goal for your event. And it also takes all of the information that we just developed 
and puts it into one nice, beautiful statement for your event. So here's an example. My insert your event topic will be able to insert your event purpose so that insert your event audience will be able to insert your event outcome or why your audience is attending your event. So let's create a vision statement using the example we've been using in this video, which is a women's wellness event focused on weight loss. My women's wellness and weight loss event will be able to provide effective methods for weight loss and healthy lifestyle choices so that women between the ages of 16 and 60 in my city who are interested in losing weight will be able to begin one healthy lifestyle method connect with other women on a weight loss journey, and achieve their goal weight within one year of attending my event. So there you have it. Now that you're clear on your why, the why for your attendees, you have your goal and you have your purpose for your event, you should be able to clearly communicate why people should buy a ticket to your event or why they should come and show up and support your event. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, hit the bell so you do not miss any time that I post. Don't forget to like Savvy Social Events on Facebook and follow me on Instagram and I will see you in the next video.